All right. Hello and good morning, everyone. Good to see you. Paul Trani here. Hopefully volume level is okay. Let me know if everything is coming through just fine. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, welcome and welcome. Uh, just kind of taking this and making sure everybody can join me join me here feel free to say hello we're gonna get we're gonna have some fun in illustrator so that's the plan good morning awesome i'm doing well on this fine friday fancy coffee no doubt we are going with um peppermint today and i'm actually all out and uh hair is a little crazy but you know what? It's, it's got some very much like intertwine vibes, and that's what we're going to be working on today. So uh, I am glad you guys are here, and we're going to jump into this right now. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. All right, so let me just switch screens really fast, and welcome. Yeah, peppermint coffee, and it's delicious. It's actually, it snowed here yesterday and last night here in Denver. So, you know, feeling uh, feeling the winter vibes a little bit. So uh, anyways, we're going to do some fun intertwines. Like, uh, pretty straightforward to do, but I just honestly just wanted to have some fun with it. So that's the plan. Um, but right in here, you can see I have a bunch of uh, brushes. One of those brushes happens to be, if we take a look, is this fun like tube brush and let's just change the color to something like yellow or teal ah oh, what is happening to me what is going on with this uh why can't i change the color okay there it is there it's working fine i don't know what was up with this one Either way, here's this little noodle. Thought we'd have some fun with some noodles. All right, Carol, and you, I forget where you are, where you live, um, Carol, so let me know. It's like, I just kind of forgot. And I'm jealous of the temperature. Uh, I thought we'd like take like a fork or something like this and uh, just kind of play with some intertwine uh, with it. Maybe we'll have a word so we kind of want to have this word yum, right? And we're going to have it weave in and out of the fork. Okay, so there's our brush. Uh, in fact, we have it sampled. And we can do... Uh, how shall we do the M? Maybe like that. There we go. Yum. That's fun. New Zealand summer's happening. Oh, I'm so jealous. I saw Brett McKenzie, just so you know, Steve. You know, you know Brett, Brett McKenzie uh, on Tuesday night, uh, Wednesday night, actually. So, um, yeah, and fellow New Zealander. Played some songs with jokes, some songs without jokes. Uh, and it was a uh, good time, good time. So we're had by all. So here's our uh, fork. Maybe I'll actually change the background to just be a different color. So give me one second and then we'll get into inter intertwine. Let's just give it a, give it a nice background, huh? And then we'll make this, this is gonna just brighten up this fork. Right, that's what I want to do. Get a little brighter. Could even be white, but there we go. We'll make sure the stroke width is about the same, kind of like that. Cool. I love pasta as well. Who doesn't love pasta, huh? Uh, if you end with the pencil, we can actually continue that a little bit further, do something like that, come down to this end, extend that down further, right? So we just want a lot of these fun swooshies. Um, hopefully it still reads as a Y, I guess, is the big question. All right. 
So we have a couple different objects here. We have this one, and let's just change this to a light blue. And I got a lot more going on in here, just so you know. But um, we have this object. We'll select all three of those. We'll group them. We'll take these two, and then we'll do an object intertwine. So this is where the magic happens. All right. Oh, Mary, Mary Agnes, you're in France, and it's in the afternoon for you? That sounds nice, because your weekend has already started. And that's all we're doing. We're drawing boxes over these certain parts. So we're going to have this come here, zip, 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 just like that. Okay, we'll have a... We don't want to obscure this too much. Let's actually go right here, like that, and then here and we're just having fun. Okay, we're just having that intertwine. Isn't that nice? That's gonna go like that. Let's put this behind. There we go. You get the idea. Cool, piece of cake. So there we've used intertwine to do this fun, yum design very quickly. Intertwine is off the chain, isn't that fancy? So we could always come in and edit it, so we can go to Intertwine, Edit, right? And that's gonna enable us to in edit the Intertwine, but actually all I need to do is start to modify some of these curves. So we can, even as I drag this out, notice what's happening here. Right, this is the initial box that I, I drew, was like this size. So be mindful when you draw these boxes for your intertwining that you go a little bit larger than you need so you have some flexibility to move these elements around, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. If I wanted this to be, say, reversed, let's go to Object, Intertwine, Edit. And what I mean by reversed is like if I want this actually back on top, I'll draw a box over it and I'll put it back on top. I'll draw a box around this, and I'll put that underneath, like so. And that actually even looks a little bit better. And we did it, we did the thing. Here's our lovely brush, move that up. And then we could play with all sorts of other noodles and fun things like that. You do have to group the objects first. Um, uh, I haven't tried to take this into After Effects, but I doubt the right on effect would work with Intertwine. Because the write-on effect doesn't, it, it needs that, um, you know, it needs a solid path. And what we've made here is just a more complex object, right? So if we take a look at it, I'll just put it on a new layer. Everything's going a little slow for me today. Wait for it. Maybe it needs the new the blue background, maybe it doesn't, we'll see. But I have like five other examples to show you. So, so many things to do here. Wouldn't this be less confusing if we just use layers? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, yeah, if you wanna use layers, totally go for it. Uh, I, I don't think so, cause then if you start to manipulate the fork, it just gets, you know, it means you're going to have to put copies of the fork, one sort of in the background, one in front. Like, it's just a lot of cutting out of pieces. And boy, did it not like that, what I just have done. I think actually Illustrator is just like, you know, saying, hey, you know what? Maybe I can't. It's like, can't quite handle it. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Just when I almost gave up on it. There it is. But let's twirl this down. You can see the intertwine feature right here. And you can see this group, which I made initially, and then the compound path as well. So that's all I was trying to show you. Uh, let's move on. Yeah, because you can see the layers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Mike, you can totally do that if you want. Right, Let, let's take a look at this example, actually. Here's, uh, here's something more complex. Right, we have wrap it up, something like this. 
which gets to be, again, just like more complex, harder to do. If you could imagine the amount of layers, you know I would have to cut this. I'd have to have this on top and this underneath and all the things, right? It would be, it would be a pain, right? So this would be, have to be on top. This piece would have to be underneath. It's just like, it would just be a, a mess of layers, um, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Uh, but yeah, this is, we can kind of take a look at this and uh, have some fun with it as well. Uh, in this case, I'll actually ungroup this and I'll do this kind of by, uh, by word. So I'll just group this and I'll group this. And these will be two of my individual groups. And then we'll go in and have fun drawing. So I can jump in here, select my the brush that I've made, and uh, draw. Let's um, figure out how we want this to go. We could do a ribbon that goes around just the eye. And maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> By the way, like Illustrator actually does not freeze on me uh, very much. It just, it doesn't. I, I don't know. If you have stability issues, you know, I, like I don't know what to say. You usually don't have issues. But right in here, we'll take this. This will be our shape. We'll just do two of these. We'll do these individual letters. Let's get in here. Oh, come on, buddy. Select this. Factly, you know what? Let's just move these brushes over so I don't have to keep opening up that panel. And we can do something like that. Zipping along. We'll select these two. Object, intertwine, make. And now we can kind of determine what we want in front and what we want behind. We want this behind. Actually, no, that kind of looks like it should be in front. Maybe I want this behind. Okay, let's undo that. Box there, um, box here. There we go. And then we can move this around. And even simplify this. Maybe I'll actually simplify this whole path. Let's see if that'll work. Path, simplify, smooth it out. There we go. It's all still vector, which is nice. This part gets a little funky, so let's just hide it back there. And that's just a problem with me me making my weird brush. Um, yeah, I think Illustrator needs some coffee. Even software needs coffee. But these little bumps are, are kind of the imperfections of my brush, just so you know. Um, that could be better. Here's how the brush is made, by the way. If we take a look. Um, there we go. Here's just my different brushes. So this is the brush that I'm playing with right now. Is this one. So it does look pretty smooth until you start getting um, some different... Uh, Almost, if you get curves that are a little bit too crazy. All right, so let's continue. Let's just continue to work on this, huh? We'll have one that goes up, down, over. Maybe that's too much. Probably going a little crazy. Let's go like this. Oh, like that. There we go. We'll intertwine here. 
Boom. And uh, that's it. I think for this whole thing, I'm actually going to send it behind that letter and send this back there. There we go. Cool. This I is not good. Can we all, can we all agree? All right. So let's do one more. Uh, we'll have this go through, down, and then up. There we go. Something like that. And we'll have this go underneath, on top, behind. Uh, what a, oh, geez, look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There we go. Uh, yeah, this will go actually behind as well. There we go. And then we'll edit it, just like we've been doing. We're gonna hide this weird curve. Just that weird part right over here. We'll just hide it. And actually, I wanna select this whole thing and simplify, smooth it out some. But just the path, just the ribbon and not the text. There we go, like that. Swooshy, swooshy, swooshy. Uh, so let's talk about some of the issues you run into. Okay, you ready for this, Sean? So this is this is the main issue you're going to run into. As I move this down, you can see the the box is like too. Uh, it's pretty big. I typically draw these boxes really large, but now if I want to extend this box down, here's the problem you're going to run into. So let's go in there and you'll select the object, you'll go to intertwine and you go to edit that intertwine because you want to like expand this area, right? To cover up more of it. And in fact, I'll zoom in there as much as possible. The thing is, is it's like on or off. So this is what I need to do is like, I almost need to get this perfect right on that edge to try to expand it. And that's, look, this is, this is exactly what happens. We get this little funky stuff, which I'm not crazy about. So there's no way to really go in and edit this little piece, the vector path. You have to kind of play with it this way by editing it or releasing it completely. But you have to, ugh, you have to draw it again and stuff like that. See, look at that. Let's try this one more time, object. Intertwine, edit. See what it's doing? It does the reverse every time you select it. Okay, I did it, yay. I drew a big enough box and I think we figured out the solution. I'm so happy about this. Um, Sean and Susan and everybody. So if I undo this a couple times, I kept on getting this weird stuff. Eventually I drew a big enough box that just covered up all of my mistakes. Like so, and there we go. So you just gotta basically have to make the box bigger to uh, get it to look right. And then we can move that over and we can hide it. There we go, we got it. Wrap it up. So isn't that nice? Just in time. Yeah, so redraw the selection. So, so again, if, if you have overlapping like selections, it just like starts to invert them, invert them, invert them. It's like you have to draw a huge box over everything and that seemed to do it. But now we have our nice shape. I'm kind of into this. I think this turned out well. Um, 
want to know your thoughts. Yeah, if you st if you stick your tongue out far enough, or if you like cock your head far enough, eventually you'll get it to work. <laughs> uh, so no, this is not still in beta. This is live. Live Aruski looks good. All right, let's take a look at some of the other projects that I was working on. So again, I just wanted to spend some time like having fun with uh, Intertwine. So we did the yum there. You could see this pasta, this other pasta fork, right? Just kind of things even we weaving in and out. We did it there. Here's a little dreamland. Again, just trying out different things. Eh, really hard to read, right? So you start to think about like what's going to work well for, uh, for my type, right? We could, we could take something even more complex like this and uh, start to weave in and out. Um, some swirls and some things in here, which will be really neat, right? So just so you know how this first part was made, just went in and started using the, um, I think he, did I use the shape, uh, shape builder tool? Let's try it. I don't remember what I used. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, this part right down here. Boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. So I'm using the shape builder, um, which is interesting. So you'd think you'd use the live paint bucket, but I actually want to combine shapes and change their color. So I go to shape builder, I pick my color, and then I get to just start to make these, these little pieces right down here, like connect all that stuff. So it's like doing two moves in one, uh, which I think is cool. We'll do that. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. This. I'm just kind of trying out some things. Also, if you hold down the option key, you can remove. Didn't want to do it there, but you can remove if you hold down the option key. Um, again, just kind of making these solid shapes. And then we'll get into um, intertwine dealing with this in a second. How is everybody doing this on this fine Friday, everyone? It's snowing here in Denver, or we have snow on the ground. I don't know if you guys like the winter time. Me, I don't. I just decided, you know what? I like the summer, because I want to ride my bike. <laughs> That's an issue when it gets to be all snowy out. So uh, I'm happier when it's um, warm out. So uh, let's take a look at some of these other parts. Boom, 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 boom. A little subtraction. Holding down the option key. Uh, no, I don't want to do that part. I want to add a color right there. I'll undo it. There we go. Bomb bomb. All righty. Try ski do. You talking like um snowmobile? Ski do. All right, cool. Do we have it? Command H. Is that looking cool? Looking kind of cool. Yeah, sure. Again, we're just trying out some different uh different looks for all of this. Looks like I do need to still fill this in. I can always jump in and clean up any of these parts. I'm noticing that kind of need some help. Those little gaps. Fix that. Also, you get a lot of these little spikes. Notice how you get these little spikes right here? 
Well, let's just select everything. That is because our stroke needs to be, caps need to be rounded and the corners need to be sort of smoothed out. I'll do the same for this one. Round the caps, round the corners, and there we have that. Cool. All right, so. Um, let's do a select, same, fill color, and then I, and boom. There we go. We got it. Good energy. Is that looking good, or does R need some work? Uh, so anyways, let's, let's kind of play with some, uh, some, some lettering now and uh, some brushes. So we'll go over here. I think I should have some cool brushes like this one. So we will select this brush. Ooh, right, that's kind of cool. We'll play with the width. And now we get this like cool flowiness, which I'm into. And we could have this kind of maybe flow in and out of this text. So this is gonna get pretty complex, I feel. Uh, let's make sure, just by the way, that everything... Ooh, that even looks cool. Oh, kind of like that. Either way, this might get too messy. My first thought is this is, this is too messy. It, it might be too much, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll take this text right here. Uh, we will get our... Actually, let's go back here to this guy. And let's just draw... some swooshiness. I'm already noticing an issue right in here. Um, sorry, everyone. I'm still noticing an issue. Some of these little pieces. Let's fix them. I'm thinking if I simplify this a little bit more, then it's gonna be easier to do intertwine. Intertwine's gonna make more sense. There we go. Right, so we're simplifying this. Oh. We'll just leave that one alone. All right, fine. All right, let's do it. Do a flowy, flowy, cool thing. Um, let's maybe start with one kind of coming up through there. Another one kind of doing this. And then another one over here doing that. Oops. In fact, let's take these two, let's, shall we join them? And smooth them out. There we go. All right. We got it going on. We'll just do those two, group them, and now let the magic begin. Intertwine, make. Now we can decide what's in front, what's behind. This is definitely going to be behind. This whole area is gonna be behind, like that. But not quite that big. Let's try this one more time. Ah, 
this is what I, Steve, can I be honest with you and everybody? Of course I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I hate how I undo. It gets me out of intertwine altogether. So that's my biggest problem. It's like as soon as I undo, it gets me out of intertwine altogether. Uh, so let's go back in here to edit. I want to have this stuff behind like that. Grab it. Done. Perfect. Um, taking this chunk will also be behind. Like that. Uh, this is definitely going to be behind. Boom. And then this will be behind. Cool. So that's all I was doing. Something like that. Like, see, I knew it was going to be Ill illegible. It's not working. You guys should have told me this so long ago. It's, it's, it's too hard to read. I thought this was going to be so cool. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, let's just kind of continue it. You know, it's okay. You know, doesn't all work out. Um, we'll have another one that goes through here like that. This one will go down that way. Maybe another one will go like that. Intertwine this, baby. Let's do it. So this it's drawn boxes. It's that easy. Have that underneath. Uh this behind. Oh yeah. Just having it flow. Ooh, I actually like that, how that follows that G, but let's put this behind right here. And heck. Let's have this go behind as well. There we go. So a little hard to read, but I'm okay with it. Good energy. Ah, they're not all winners. Yeah, nobody wants to read words any. You know what? The, you know what's cool about this? This is good. Large. Like the larger it is, I feel like it looks a little bit better. But it's just not working. Uh. Okay, Letitia, oh, you're so nice. You think it looks cool. Thank you. I, you know what the problem is for me? Usually I have a problem anytime you're outlining something. If you're, con if you're mixing outlined elements with non-outlined elements. And I feel like these outlines are not what's working. So I actually want to go through and I would block this out and make this a different color and this, and I would just do all sorts of cool things. So this has potential. It, it really does. Um, and we'll get it there, but it means taking a little bit different approach. But what's nice is again, yeah, hey, this is why I like working in illustrators. Like nothing's ever permanent. We can always jump in, change this all we want uh, with the power of vectors, which is nice. Zoop. Oops. Have that one connect there. Have that one kiss it. Just like that. Oh, yeah. This one will go over here. Start connecting these. This, you know, it's making it look a little more seamless. But thank you. Thank you for thinking it looks good. <laughs> I think it needs a lot of help. Help me. Let's get rid of this. Boom. All right, let's go to our next and uh, maybe final example. I often have the problem of Sometimes not finishing projects um, and maybe starting too many. But hey, this is a case. This is where I'd use. We'll go back in and we'll edit this one real fast because I think it's going to help it out a lot. Object intertwine, edit, and this is going to go underneath. So uh, if all works out well, boom, put that underneath. Cool. 
Alrighty. Well, thanks for thinking it looks good. I like this one. This one's working. This one's this one's pretty fun. It's pretty basic. I'm not crazy about. By the way, you know this brush. I can still jump in and edit this stuff, but this brush here. I can change the color of it, which is nice. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Uh, Dreamland we have over here. And then I have this one grow. So this will be fun to work with, I think. Might be a little bit different. Might get kind of complex. But I like the idea of having vines and stuff. Um, and I could have swore I had a different phrase that I wanted to use. But um, the adventure begins. All right, so let's go in and let's have some fun with this. We'll move this over here. I was trying a couple different versions. So this happens to be um, a brush that's getting a little crazy. This happens to be an art brush. So if we take a look at our brushes right over here. It's right up here, this one, which means it's gonna be stretching this and not repeating it. So um, probably what I wanna do is come in and grab my scissors and cut it right there, bing. There we go. That's, that's working out a little bit better. I can cut it there if I want to, but it's still getting a little funky. That's okay. Yeah, that is a little funky. So this wasn't my original plan anyways, because I'm going to keep this text and I'm going to have these vines kind of growing up around it. Um... So yeah, that's the plan. All right, so look at that. This is kind of cool, but again, we want this to kind of weave in and out, and I think that will be fun. And maybe we do use elements of this, but it's, it's gonna get crazy. I could tell already. It's gonna get crazy. All right, so let's jump out, let's grab this because everything looks better with just like a background, like so. And there we grow. There we grow, folks. All right, so we have our shape right here. Maybe I will just put this on a new layer. Just try to keep this somewhat clean because I have uh, like six different projects in one Illustrator file. Oops. Uh, but let's have some fun with this. Let's take uh, this, in this, in this case, I'm still gonna ungroup this. I'm gonna just do individual letters. Um, let's grab our vine. Oh, brush. Oh yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Because the original brush is actually not that straight. It's all crazy and crooked. But I kind of like that. So we'll do something like that. There's one element. Let's do another one. We having fun yet, everyone, huh? 
You guys having fun in life? There we go. Got all this crazy growth. Let's change this text too, because I'm not crazy about this color. Change this to white. So it stands out. All right, do you guys have any questions? Uh, yeah, it is, a, it is a, a nice brush. <laughs> I need a drone, don't I? Oh, that's the last thing I need. All righty. So let's just try this. I'm going to select, I have now have five different lines, a background object. We're going to try intertwine, make. I usually group them together, and somebody's like, do you have to group them? And I was like, yes, maybe we don't have to. So let's come in here. Ooh, that is so cool. Look at this. I, I you know, wasn't planning on this, but I love how it's like poking through. So maybe we'll just do that for a little bit of this, right? So again, these are ungrouped objects. You can, yes, you could do it with ungrouped objects. Um, I'm not sure what's happening now. Edit. What is going on? Edit. Try a box down here. Maybe we reach the limits. So let's undo this a couple times. And hmm. And let's just expand appearance. There we go. Group it, select it, intertwine, make with intertwine. And there we have that going on. Uh, what other parts right here? This will all be behind. You see the problem I'm running into? It's inverting all of these parts. I'm not, not, I'm not crazy about it. So we'll just go through and we will release. Just stop the madness, basically. And let's try this one more time. Intertwine, make. Now. Let's come in and try some of these segments. This part, take all of that, put it behind. Good job. Take all of this. Ah, you, you son of a biscuit. You son of a gun. See what we're running into? Let's try it one more time. Make. All right, let's be a little more strategic, like all of this. All needs to be behind. And it missed this part. And this is driving me nuts. I'm not gonna, I'm not kidding. That's uh, just driving me nuts. I'm really pushing it to the limits. Let's try this one more time. You know, a big, okay, all of this stuff is gonna be underneath. Thank goodness it all worked. Okay, find the right combo. I want that underneath, this on top, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we can play with this some more. Um, it was hurting my brain there for a little bit, but we got it going on. So let's just go ahead and edit this and have some more fun with uh, this content. 
being behind. It's just this in and out that we want to do because it'll look cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, put this behind. Uh, no. Maybe this. And this. And I've only done one letter. This is only one letter. Undo. Okay, we did it. Okay, uh, let's continue on our merry little way. Oh, feel less lonely, Patrick. I know, like, I honestly, I want the mask, because essentially you're creating, like, a mask. I want that mask to be editable, like, down to the vector line. So, um, yeah, we are in the same boat. All right. Jump back in here. Try a little bit more of this. No. Yes. Maybe we'll just go straight. There we go. There we grow. All righty, we did it. We are doing the thing. Just want these all to look a little bit different. Cool. All right, let's make it happen. Intertwine, last one. And good thing I have like five minutes. This part. Oh yeah, I made the mistake. Oh, that still works actually. I'm gonna try this once more. There we are. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Okay. Undo, 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 undo. Taking all of these crazy paths. And we're in it to win it. You son of a, you son of a gun. Okay. Make. All right, here we go. Drawing this again. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, what other parts? Uh, this. Behind. Use this. Behind this 
all behind. I said, get behind. There we go. There we go. Who knows? I feel like sometimes it likes it, sometimes it does not. Let's do this big chunk. Boom. How's that for awesome? We did it. Doesn't that look cool? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, took a second or two, but I'm really liking this. Yeah, outlines and previews, yeah. That's what that's what everything looks like now. That actually even looks cool. Ugh, struggle bus. Um, you know, honestly, what I would do next is... Um, like, tr I would try to add some shading in there. But that might be a whole other deal. So let's just see what happens if we expand appearance. Okay, I just didn't expand. And, uh, just kind of seeing what I get. So anyways, uh, so there they are masks. Did you see that? So I'm going to do this one more time. So just to recap, I have this chunk. You know, this is my intertwine. Okay, notice how, you know, this is underneath and this is over. So it's using intertwine. So let's try this. Let's expand appearance. Okay, keeps the look. And I'll have to dis dissect this a little bit more. What is it doing over here? What is happening? Either way. There that piece is. And uh, something funky is happening. But we did it. We did it, everyone. I just have so many vectors going on right now. Let's move this back. Let's call it a day. Let's get rid of the ones we don't like. We don't like that one. Um, and maybe line up our favorites. I would say these two. I'm not even crazy about good energy. I know I like good energy in general, but you know, this one, this one needs help. Which one is good is this one. This looks so nice. These are my two favorites. There we go. We did it. You guys into it? Right? So, yeah, I'll get these posted someday to the Instagrams of the world. But, um, uh, yeah, we kind of... Uh, I'm just reading over... Thank you, Bobby Orlando. You're too kind. But I think we did some cool stuff. Right? We kind of understand where it works and what we can use it for, obviously. And honestly, I just wanted to play with it. So, you know, try it out for yourself, as Cody Bear says. T. White up next. So that'll be a lot of fun, hanging out with him. He's uh, one heck of a guy. And uh, I, love, I love creeping on his streams. So should be good, so. All right, Mitra, you're the best. Thank you, Mitra, Steve. Uh, Froja, Doris, Patrick, Jan, and everyone. Ah, we did it. Thank you so much for tuning in, wrapping up now. Thank you so much, and we will see you guys next time. Actually, later today, I'm going to do the uh, Express Masterclass. Bye.